You're still watching Ways Now. Old Rock Day is an annual celebration observed on January 7th of every year. Those who love and admire the beauty of nature will find this day a bit more than a normal day. Can you remember the Earth's utmost part? Of course, yes, it's rocks. <laughs> rocks are a part of nature that is present in the world even before existence of humankind. The rocks are being used for various purposes, including tools, weapons, musical instruments, mining, and jewelry. Old Rocks Day is observed to celebrate and know more about old rocks. It is also the perfect day to start collecting the old rock and an opportunity to appreciate old rocks and fossil. Back in the days, <laughs> the early men used the rocks to also make fire. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, uh, rocks can be used for so many so things. So many things. And I think the head banger song, rock music, also emanated from there as well because it has the boom, 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 okay. just like you're hitting the rock. That's it. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's, um, the only place I've actually seen rocks was when I went to Abuja. Mm. So I have not seen any. I know there's another place where the, we have lots of rocks somewhere in the Joss. west. Okay. There's also another place in the west as well. Yeah, Olum, Olum, Oluma Rock, rock. Yeah. exactly. So these are the places I know that we have rocks in mm. Nigeria currently. I know we have a lot, even Lokoja. Yeah, we mm. we are we're blessed actually. When it but comes we don't to have this. enough time to actually sit back and enjoy nature All the because we have. of the yeah. the challenges we have Absolutely. to take and in. Absolutely, insecurity remains one of the biggest challenges. Exactly. Yeah. All right, uh, let me start with you. What did you find for us in the news? Okay, to in the news today. There was a video, video that went out on about Alibaba when he was talking to somebody in one of the um, um, TV stations and he said that if you don't believe that there is COVID, <laughs> turn that fire you. <laughs> so I think this, uh, to say this, um, I do believe that there is a problem with COVID currently and I do know that COVID is in Nigeria. And um, Baba Jide Sawolu, the governor, has said that COVID-19 second wave is worse than the first one and more patients need oxygen mm. currently. So there is a problem currently going on in terms of them trying to get more people to use the um, oxygen. Mm. And um, individuals are having challenges with this because of the COVID-19 yeah. scare. So and what he said... Yesterday, yeah. we had a guest who also talked about the mm. um, the second wave being a contagion. It's more contagious compared to the one that, you know, came the first time. So people need to be very careful mm. currently. Yeah, I think... It, so the, I, I, I hear him and, I mean, I'm happy you, ref, you referred to yesterday's show because Dr. Mm. Tosin Majakudumi actually mentioned that unlike the this... Um, um, new wave. The first COVID wave that came, I mean, if you had 10 people in a room, only mm -hmm. three people might catch it. But exactly. now, about six, you know, seven because people would Because it's more yeah, contagious. Because, yeah, so, and people are needing a lot more medical attention, unlike before, where you can just sit it out in the house. Yes. So people and just you, need to be careful. And there was something Alibaba said that if you have to um, struggle for air, oxygen, then you would not, um, you would you would know the value of staying away and keeping safe keeping and safe, yeah. and also you know wearing your face mask following the covid protocol in yeah. terms of you know keeping safe and those around you as well all right so uti uh so what did you find for us in the news Hi. okay so um my story the headline reads nigerians to pay 15,000 um, and other charges to correct NIN details, says uh, NIMSI. So, of course, this is back to um, everything that's been happening recently with the national identity number and the call to link it with our SIM cards. So, um, NIMSI has pretty much, um, this is the National Identity Management Commission, has been in the news consistently since the end of last year. And the story is just talking about the changes that, um, or the payments that will have to be made. Now, NIMSI is calling uh, these payment service fees, and NIMSI have identified about 18 fields in um, the data set that is collected for you to register for your national identity number that will that are updatable. So, of course, you can't change things like your gender, but you can change your name, you can change your phone number. You know, so they've identified 18 fields that can be changed. And they've stipulated a fee of 500 naira for um, all of those fields, except for the date of birth. If you're going to update your date of birth for any reason, then um, the fee is at 
15,000 Naira. Now, so there's been a lot of um, somewhat uproar about this. I was trying to exactly. look at social media and see what people were commenting about this. Um, and the reality of it is, you know, people believe that this is Nimsi trying to raise money. Uh, but the reality of it is, you know, anywhere else in the world, you would you would get your date of birth right and when you're registering. This is the information that is provided by the owner of, um, of the information. You, know, you provide the form, you fill the form, you provide your data. Now, for me, this highlights a bigger issue. Mm -hmm. We have so many different databases. We have your passport, we have your um, BVN, we have your voter's card. Now we have this national identity number. Nigeria specializes in collecting data, data that is not linked to anything, data that is, data that is almost impossible to validate. Mm -hmm. And when we have situations like people who are applying for jobs mm -hmm. and there are age um, cutoffs, people create or, you know, all sorts of dates of birth for different reasons. Um, and, you know, it wasn't until I started working in financial services and I saw that people, you ask someone their date of birth and they, they don't know. Mm -hmm. um, so there is a challenge there. Um, and, and the fee is for that purpose. Uh, there's another fee, which is 5,000 naira for replacement or renewal of the card. Replacement is understandable, but for renewal, I mean, it's your identity. Your the only thing that could potentially change um, or that would require that sort of a change to get a new card would be your picture. So why do I need to renew this card? Maybe every 10, 20 years, you know, just for the sake of updating my face, then I would agree. But this literally is just telling the, uh, Nigerians what they have to face to, to, to update these details. There's quite a lot of details on it on the NIMC website, so whoever needs to do that can get more information there. I right. think they are also <laughs> encouraging people to actually um, falsify their ages if they have to yeah, change it. Staying on NIMC. <laughs> well, there, there has to be a holistic approach to it. That's Definitely. what it is. You know, yeah. All these databases need to be harmonized. It will allow, again, to check all the things that they're trying to check. You, know, you can't be 18 in one database and then on your BVN you're 40 and then everywhere, you know, you're somewhere else. But of course, we've also talked so many times on the show about how the fact that keeping this data separate is also for a reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Staying on NIMSI, um, so the headline says, um, staff commence indefinite strike. Um, that's um, according to Premium Times, that they learned that the strike commenced in the early hours of today, that's Thursday, across the nation. The president of the Association of Civil, um, Civil Servants of Nigeria um, Nancy Branch, Lucky Michael, confirmed the action to the paper via telephone. Mm. And the reason for the strike is quite interesting, Uti. Um, Mr. Michael said that the welfare of its members was paramount to, uh, for the strike to hold, saying that they are being exposed to COVID-19 despite all warnings from NCDC. Some staff have contracted the COVID-19 virus and the management is not doing anything, he said. He said um, the workers receive very poor rem remuneration despite mm. the risk they have um, been exposed to. So staff members were infected with COVID-19 and um, adequate measures have not been taken, taken to curtail the spread and the safety of the staff should be prioritized while offices environment should be fumigated immediately. Mm -hmm. So that's the, um, the call. You remember that the, the federal government gave deadlines for them to register and generate NINs for the citizens, right? Mm -hmm. So the, the number of people that uh, invade their their offices or that come to their offices on a daily basis exposes them, you know, to COVID-19. And he said that they are not giving protective gears and they are just working. And some of the members have contracted, um, what's it called? Um, the, the virus. The and virus. nothing mm -hmm. is being done to them. So I think it's a valid reason for them to go on strike. Honestly Absolutely. speaking, I even think that putting a deadline to something like that, that is tied to phone numbers, you, you are already creating a room for the, and you are complaining that the, the new wave is more contagious. Why mm. can't we find a more creative way to get this registration done virtually without having to go to any physical office then even if at all you go to, uh, to a physical office maybe on a scheduled um what's it called scheduled um, um, appointment base or something like that because i don't know how we're going to do this on one mouth you say stay at home do not go to crowded places and all of that and on the other hand you're saying go and get registered and all of that how do you expect it to work why is there such an urgency that's my question when we registered for these SIM cards, you were required to register, provide all your information, you provide your biometrics. Everything. Why is there now such an urgency to provide a national identity number? It, I mean, it doesn't even add up. There is and always... in the midst of a pandemic, in the midst of a highly infectious disease, I there... got a call from one of my service providers the other day. Mm -hmm. And they said, oh, you need to come in. I said, oh, but I've given you my, my identity number. 
And then they said, oh, no, we need you to come and update your picture. So we need you to come into the office. In the middle of a pandemic, you can shut my account down. Thank you very much. Hmm. <laughs> I think we'll leave it there. Hmm. So, um, hmm. Uti, we're going to be discussing customer service. Hmm. <laughs> and when we return from the break, that will be our conversation. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.